Opportunities for the sheep industry at the moment are all positive. We've got really, we're coming out of a, a low price market over the historic, you know, the last sort of 12 to 18 months. We've got numbers and demand going. We're on an upward trend for prices across lamb and mutton. So I think the opportunities are getting the product out there and, and you know, good prices, good returns for, for producers means good returns through the supply chain and, and it's a positive outlook across the whole lot. I think supply, restocking ewes going forward. I think seed stock producers are going to, have got a positive future. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty good place to be a part of at the moment. I think, I, think, I think globally, because we're such a heavy exporter of our product, you know, that, you know it's, it's quoted, you know, 26%, 28% of our products consumed domestically. We're such a, a he renowned heavily with exporting our product, as a, the red meat as, as, a, as a final product, that globally and, and political tensions in different areas of the world economic conditions in China and obviously we've got a, a pretty massive impact coming with, a, with what happens in America with their election. I think really they're probably going to be our challenges going forward and understanding where we're going to be in those markets. US financially is one of our biggest you know, importing countries of our products so we really need to be aware of what's going on in those environments. I think we're very lucky in Australia, we do what we do very well. The producers are getting better at breeding, growing grass, growing animals, having things right. We've got a great involvement through the supply chain, so the future is positive. The world needs protein. We're producing some of the best protein in the world at, at competitive pricing, and so we need to be aware that we've got a lot of positivity going forward. And, and where we are here at Lamex at, at the moment, I think it's it's evident of that. You've got people right through the supply chain. We're even eating the product every meal chance we get. So it's positive and, it, and it's a great thing to see. And see Lamex back and be part of it with, with what we're doing is, is brilliant, really good. I think what we're going through at the moment with traceability reform and, and really getting down into data being being far more subjective about what we're doing, measuring things, understanding what people are doing, breeding, you know, value-based marketing for, for, for sheep over the hooks for the meat. Um, I think those are the things that we, you know, that, that data and understanding where we are. Measuring it, you can't control it if you don't measure it. Measuring this stuff going forward as an industry, I think is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty innovative and, and it's, you know, it'll, it'll secure us into the future and secure our export markets, so. I think it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily one thing about the sheep industry, I think it's really, really important. I've been lucky enough over my career to be exposed from joining ewes, lambing down and then right through the supply chain and I think it's really important for everyone in the industry, no matter where you're situated in the supply chain, to understand to your best of your abilities or as much as you can within reason where the product goes either outside your front gate or from a processing perspective what's going on on farm and then right through to the export. And it doesn't mean you have to travel around the world and spend tens of thousands of dollars. It's you know, knowing where your product is and, and outside of, of your area, I think it's really important. So I attended LAMX to network with people right through the supply chain. And uh, yeah, yep, that's what I did. <laughs> I think of the ability to sell livestock to every market that's actually possible.